Are you ready to jump through multiple networks with the ultimate jumper exchange that will be hosting one of the largest crypto airdrops ever? Well, I know I am. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to qualify for the multi-chain jumper exchange, which allows us to bridge and swap our tokens between multiple networks. We'll be qualifying for multiple airdrops in one video using the jumper exchange. So get ready to fill your bags and on and let's begin. I would also like to mention and say a huge thank you to everyone who shows support on our channel. Very soon, I'm going to be hosting a giveaway, so be sure to stay tuned. But before we begin, welcome back again. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Old Crypto Talk team. Remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose and use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. Be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for free guides, project reviews, articles, and everything crypto related. My friends, let's dive straight into the video. So we're officially on the LiFi website and LiFi is the protocol that powers Jumper Exchange, which this is the exact website and essentially it allows us to swap and bridge tokens between different networks. For example, Ethereum, Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, BNB Chain, ZK Sync, Gnosis, Fuse, Boba, Solana, Metis, and more. So we've got so many networks to choose from and we can swap between different tokens. It doesn't have to be ETH to ETH. It can be ETH to USDC. It can be BNB to to ETH, whatever you like, you can do that all on the Jumper Exchange. Now, another cool thing, guys, is for those who are new setting up wallets, for example, on MetaMask or, for example, Phantom, whatever it is, whatever network that you're new to and you haven't got any tokens on there and you don't want to use a centralized exchange to deposit tokens onto that network, then what you can do is you can use this legendary feature up the top called Gas. And this enables you to bridge Gas tokens to a network. Say, for example, I wanted to use Fuse, which I haven't got any tokens on that network. I would click Fuse and I would be able to use my Matic tokens to swap into Fuse tokens in order to to use the fuse network now without fuse tokens i would not be able to make any swaps any transactions or anything hence i would need to use a centralized exchange to buy fuse and then deposit into my wallet however if you didn't want to do that you can use the ultimate feature like i said called gas however just to show you that there is going to be an airdrop well in my opinion i definitely think there is going to be and if you go over to lifi the protocol that powers jumper exchange and many other protocols if you scroll down, you'll see that LiFi is used by MetaMask, the leading Ethereum wallet, Phantom, the leading Solana wallet, and we've got Jumper, the exchange that we're using today, the primary product behind the LiFi protocol. However, we've also got other protocols that use LiFi, such as Summify, Gnosis Pay, Superform, DeFi Saver, Swirl, Hyperliquid, Superfluid, StakeDAO, OnRamper, Dew, DeCommerce, DexGuru, and so on. Now, as you can see, guys, they've done over $4 billion in transactional volume with 5 million transactions in total and growing. And we've got over 100 partners that trust LiFi. Now, this is where it really gives me a green flag as to why we're getting an airdrop. And if you scroll down, you'll see that we've got investments by CoinFund, Superscript, 1K, Dragonfly Capital, Blockcelerate, L1D, Coinbase, Circle, and Lattice. Now, guys, these are absolutely enormous, huge VCs and most likely going to be getting an airdrop that have funded it enough to launch a huge, huge airdrop for its entire community. Now, guys, I really do believe that we could get a serious airdrop from this. I reckon this will be a four to five figure airdrop. So in the thousands of dollars, in my opinion, considering if you get enough transactions and volumes on the Jumper Exchange and also on other protocols that are compatible. However, we can also see that there are some big names backing the LiFi protocols such as Andre Cronje, which is the developer behind Phantom. However, what we're going to do is now, guys, we're not going to go through how the LiFi protocol works, but we're simply going to show you how to qualify for the Jumper and LiFi airdrop. So from step one, what I think the best thing to do is, is use the layer three protocol, which is my favorite quest protocol. It simply shows you how to use every protocol and it's going to help us qualify for not only the Jumper airdrop, but the layer three airdrop. Now, as you can see, Jumper has their very own quests live on the layer three platform, which only at the moment we have two active quests with the other ones now ended however by completing these quests it will help you to use the protocol and obviously get transactions and volume and obviously in my opinion i think it will help you to qualify for the layer 3 airdrop now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to one of the quests down below and as you can see we're going to use one of the two available ones which is jumper on polygon and all it asks you to do is swap via jumper if you click on it swap any amount of tokens via jumper exchange on the polygon network 
So it would be as simple as clicking open exchange and you would use the Matic tokens on your Polygon network and switch to any chain of your choice, whether it be Avalanche, whether it be Polygon ZK VM or ZK Sync, and you wanted to swap into USDT for that matter. Whatever you like to do, if you've connected your wallet, made that transaction, come back on here and click continue, you would get the rewards and then you'll be able to claim a very own layer three cube as well. So this is a fairly new quest and I will do it before it ends. As you can see, it's over 12,000 people have done it. So you're not going to be the only one. And we've also got cross chain bridging with LiFi, another quest that is active at the moment. And I would definitely recommend doing with 3,484 people at the moment claiming this reward. Now that's not as many as the other one. We've got a cube that we get and all you have to do is bridge from the linear network to any network using the jumper exchange. So if you go to the jumper exchange and you use linear, for example, choose the ETH token if you wanted and then what you do is you choose the network that you want to bridge to say if it was phantom and then you would choose the phantom token and then choose how much now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you how to make these transactions on the protocol so you can complete tasks like layer three you click continue and bing claim your rewards eligible for the layer three yep and eligible for jumper yep that sounds great to me so what we're going to do is we're going to connect our wallet we're going to choose the MetaMask wallet, obviously. We're going to connect our wallet. And as you can see, we are now connected in the top right. If you also wanted to switch between Solana, you can do so. And all it would require is for you to use your Phantom wallet as well as your MetaMask wallet. However, if you've got Ethereum or any other assets on your Phantom wallet and you just want to use the Phantom wallet, you can do that as well. But what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to show you how to use this protocol. So, for example, I'm just going to use the ZK Sync era network at first. And as you can see, I've got $150 worth of Ethereum. So I'm going to click on my Ethereum and I'm just going to choose another network to swap to. Now, personally, I'm going to be using networks that are going to do an airdrop. So I know ZK Sync is doing an airdrop. I know Polygon ZK EVM is doing an airdrop. By the way, guys, with ZK Sync, I know people are saying the snapshot has already been taken, but in my opinion, I just keep going until the snapshot is actually confirmed and not just speculation, because as you know, and as you can tell, there are so many people coming up with so many different rumors. We can't just take that as a fact. We have to make up our own opinion. And my opinion is to carry on and keep getting those transactions and building up that volume, because if everyone else is going to stop and they haven't taken the snapshot, we'll be better off in a better position. So... What I'm going to do is I'm also going to choose another network like Base, which is an airdrop network, Linear, Metis, and you see where I'm going with this. However, what I'm going to do is for the first one, I'm going to choose the Base network. So I love the Base network as well. I've got $50 in Base at the moment. So I'm going to choose Base. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to send over 0.0222. So I'm sending over $77 worth. As you can see, it's using the LiFi protocol, which is the protocol that powers Jumper Exchange. It's got three cent network fees and it will take two minutes roughly to complete this transaction. So from here, guys, we're going to review the bridge, start bridging, switch your network. So as you can see, we've now started the transaction and bang, it's already on this way. Bridge successful. Wow, well, that was literally instant, guys. We didn't even have to wait. So it was as quick as that. I think the jumper exchange is incredible. Although you're going to be spending a lot on fees, I think the fees are going to accumulate into a delicious and juicy airdrop worth claiming. Now, I would recommend doing around three to five transactions per day spread throughout the day. You can do up to 10. But personally, I would say go through as many different networks, do as many different transactions and build up as much volume. So that was $77 worth of volume, $2 with the gas, $75 with the transaction itself. Now, if I wanted to use the base network, Network, for example, which I've now got my Ethereum, as you can see, the $77 that was bridged over was 75. I'm going to click my Ethereum on base and I'm going to choose another token. This time I'm not going to use ETH to ETH. This time I think it's good to also change the tokens. So if you want to mix it up, for example, if I use another network, say from base to, for example, linear, and I want to get USDC, I'm going to choose ETH from base to swap over to USDC on linear. Now, linear is also another airdrop, base is another airdrop, all of which this is going to help you qualify. So if I just do another 0.024, I would also recommend not to do the same figure, guys, because they might be looking out at spamming the same numbers. So mix it up, say if it was 0.024 ETH one time, 0.022 ETH one time, 0.1 ETH one time. It doesn't matter as long as you mix it up. And as you can see with this transaction, we're going to be using the Stargate protocol of the Hop Exchange. Now, there's different fees. I'm going to be using Stargate. Firstly, because it has the best return. Secondly, because that uses layer zero and layer zero is another airdrop. So guys, we're qualifying for layer zero, layer three, 
and jumper exchange all in one video so far, but that's excluding the networks that we've been using. So we've also got base and ZK sync so far, which we've used. And also if you did this quest on layer three and you completed it, you would also qualify for the linear airdrop. So just bear that in mind, use as many different networks that haven't got a token, use as many different protocols that haven't got a token, and you'll be getting the biggest airdrop possible. So as you can see, $83.62. And as you can see, we have just processed the transaction. Let's see how long this one will take. It's already been sent off, waiting for the destination chain. So it's waiting to arrive on the other network being linear. ZK sync to base was a lot faster, I must say. However, this one seems to be a bit slower. So as you can see, guys, the bridge has been completed. It just took around under a minute. So now we're gonna switch network. And as you can see, it's going to ask us to process the transaction on the other side. So now that's why it's important to use the gas feature sometimes like I I mentioned earlier in the video if you haven't got any gas tokens on that network so basically guys let me explain this route how it happened right now as you can see it's asking us to swap another 80 dollars well essentially all it did was essentially use the base network to bridge over eth to linear using the stargate bridge and then now we're going to be swapping our tokens using KyberSwap. Now, as you can see down below, it says $2.50 to swap using KyberSwap via LiFi, and we'll be claiming our $79.54 on USDC. Therefore, it didn't just bridge over our ETH to USDC from one network in one transaction. It cost the gas fee, which was basically nothing, to bridge over ETH from Stargate over to Linear, which we did. Now we have to actually swap our Ethereum tokens on the Linear network over to USDC. If we reject it, we see simply have our Ethereum on linear and that's no problem, but I'm going to confirm this transaction and swap it into USDC because we are just building up so much transactional volume, it is beautiful. Don't see this as a problem unless you're unhappy with paying $2.50 worth of fees. I personally am, I'm looking to get as much as an airdrop as possible. So I know I've spent around five, six dollars on fees at the moment, but in my opinion, I think it would be worth it. Now, if you go up the top here, you can see the little transaction history. My first one was on December 10th in 2023, so around three months ago now. I haven't actually done that many transactions, but I've steadily been using it ever since. Now I'm starting to use it more. I'm going to start building up transactions and as much volume as possible. Now, this isn't the only bridge that we've used in the past. We've used Orbit of Finance, L2 Finance, and so on, and I'll be farming those airdrops consistently too. However, Jumper is probably going to be at the top of my list now, and the bridge that I use to move over my tokens the most now. I think we can set ourselves up for an extremely huge airdrop so the best thing to do is carry on using these bridges and carry on using different networks and tokens so this time i'm going to use my usdc from linear which as you can see i've got my 79 dollars 54 worth and i'm going to bridge it over to another network if we scroll down say for example this time we want to bridge it over to polygon and say you wanted to bridge it over into matic tokens the native token of the network i'll just click max i'll click exchange and then you would review your bridge and you would choose the best return so you can either use the hop exchange or the sealer bridge and all you would do is click start bridging however what you must be aware is guys that it's got nine dollars and 68 cents fees so if you wanted to do that you can however if you don't want to do that you would simply just swap your tokens on on linear and use a different token to find better fees or you can try and find a different bridge and see what other fees they have but as you can see this one's eleven dollars and 31 cents now be aware which networks that you use and what tokens you're swapping to and from because the fees will drastically go up or down so say for example i did usdc linear to i don't know let's just say base and we did it to ETH, and we chose the top one, which is going to be Stargate again, it would be an estimated of $13.26 fees. So maybe it's best just to swap your USDC tokens on Linear, for example, which this will help you qualify for the SyncSwap airdrop and the Linear airdrop, like we've already said. So we're gonna connect our wallet to SyncSwap. Don't worry, guys, I'm gonna leave all the official links down below. All you would do is you would swap your tokens just like so, and voila, the swap has taken place, and we have now got all our Ethereum back and zero USDC. So now if we go back over to the Jumper exchange and we just change the assets that we want to swap so we're going to use ethereum and say we just use another network it could be say the matic network again just to show you if we use ethereum this time instead of usdc and we swap the hundred dollars we use this bridge as you can see the fees are now 50 cents so from nine dollars to 50 cents that is a big difference my friends that is around a 18x difference so bear that in mind if you're bridging other tokens it can end up costing you more now i'm just going to show you now if you want to swap into another network say for example the bnb chain into bnb tokens you would just click bnb and say if you just did 38 dollars and 60 cents worth of bnb on the celia bridge you would click review bridge and it would cost you 50 cents. So I'll just click start bridge and it's going to use the sealer bridge and then we're going to have to swap our tokens on one inch once it gets there. 
Now, like I said, we're going to be spending a few dollars on fees with these transactions, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. So guys, we're not only just getting volume from the bridge, we're getting volume from the swaps. So we're getting so much more volume by using the jumper exchange on all the networks. And I think that this could really, really help us qualify for so many different network tokens, as well as obviously the jumper exchange airdrop. Now this is fantastic and I'll be using this to make three to five transactions a day or every other day. And as you can see, finally the bridge has been completed. Now we just have to swap our tokens in order to get the BNB tokens. So if we didn't have BNB tokens guys on the BNB chain, we would need to have BNB for gas. However, you can get the gas tokens like I said by using the gas feature. Now, obviously, we don't need to do that because we've got gas tokens on pretty much every single network. Well, all the networks that I want to use anyway. And we can do it very simply with the gas feature. But like, as you can see, guys, we've now swapped our tokens. This whole protocol is very simple. It is very straightforward, but it might just cost you a few dollars in gas fees along the way. Me personally, I think it's entirely worth it. And I've been doing that with every protocol. And for those who want the airdrops, it's going to have to be done. Now, my friends, you may be wondering why we have so many more airdrops on our YouTube channel at the moment. Well, that's because, in my opinion, there are too many airdrops for us not to farm that we need to take advantage of before the major bull run comes and all of these protocols start airdropping tokens. Now, I want us all to get really rich from these airdrops, so that's why I'm really buckling down on airdrops at the moment. But guys, we have over 82 airdrop tutorials to focus on all on our YouTube playlist, which can be found on our channel. Check them out. They're all free to watch, obviously. And guys, thank you so much for supporting our channel once again don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we also have a promotion running on bybit the best centralized exchange platform for buying trading and earning bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to four thousand three hundred and eighty dollars just by signing up using the link in the description below it's simple if you need help finding the right crypto gems then follow us on twitter at alt crypto gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews crypto guides and more Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DJs.